At first, it looked as though Russia would do the expected in response to U.S. President Barack Obama's sanctions. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov recommended that Russia expel 35 U.S. diplomats from Moscow and St. Petersburg. But Russian President Vladimir Putin ruled that out, saying that would be irresponsible democracy. Instead, Putin invited the children and families of American diplomats to join in on holiday celebrations at the Kremlin. Contrast that with a different scenario in the United States, where it was moving day for 35 Russian diplomats, their families and staff. Nearly 100 people in total with less than two days to leave the country. At the Russian embassy in Washington and at compounds across the country, including these, closed down at noon because it's believed they were involved in intelligence gathering. They know full well that those two facilities, they are vacation facilities for our kids. They were not given enough time to pack all their things and to prepare to finish their financial matters here in the United States. Russian officials have portrayed the sanctions as those of a lame duck president, suggesting president-elect Donald Trump could reverse them when he takes over from Obama. In a statement, Putin said Russia will plan further steps to restore Russian-U.S. relations based on the policies of the Trump administration. Boy, did he play this one well, so that Putin can step in and say, you know, I'm ignoring this uh, president, I'm moving right on to Donald Trump. Another unusual twist today when Trump praised Putin, tweeting, great move on delay by Vladimir Putin, I always knew he was very smart. One of Trump's advisors says Obama's sanctions are aimed more at Trump than Putin. That this may be an attempt to box him in to see what he'll do as president. Trump's message is increasingly at odds, not only with the current White House, but with top Republicans. Congressional hearings start next week on cyber attacks, including Russian interference in elections. Senator John McCain says it's still possible to impose even more sanctions on Russia. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Washington.